Welcome back to John's Films, where today we're talking about creating visual interest in our timelines. As you can see, I have here a soccer or football player, whichever way you like that, who is kicking the ball. It's a pretty shot. I'm going to shorten up this clip. I really don't want to make somebody wait for the action that long. I'm trying to get them to watch my video if they think every clip is going to be an hour long because I think it's pretty. They're a lot likely to stick around. Speaking of pretty, you can see I transition here to a soccer field. We're clearly setting the scene, kicking off the video. Uh-huh, I said it. You can use some of these DaVinci Resolve transitions that are built in. They're not bad. The problem is there's just not enough of them. They have grown over time, but they're not what this is. This is a pack I found called Visual VFX. And what impressed me about these folks, they reached out and said, can you review this on your channel? And like always, I said, nope, thanks. Have a nice day. I get a lot of these. The thing that I don't like about most of them is <laughs> you get 20 transitions for a hundred bucks. You get 12 LUTs for 30 bucks. You get whatever. And they piecemeal you to death. And there's no way to really get a good base or foundation in Resolve. Oh, that was cool. You don't get this much option. And when they said, fine, we get it. Just how about this? Take a look at it. Let us know what you think. I actually got really interested because the amount of creativity that they've put into these and the amount of them there are, check this out. Everything with a TR on the left is a grouping of a ton of transitions. And it's something that's over, I think, 400 transitions, which is just crazy. If you can't find something you want in here, uh, you need to start looking at your footage and what you shot again, because you're not going to find it. Now, what you can do with these transitions, as you see, is you can mouse over on the left here. I'm mousing over the effect so I can see what it looks like. Here's a hyper jump. Woo! So that's the first way you could do this, is to use these transitions that either come in Resolve, or really, I'm impressed with what Visual VFX has here, and the price on those is $99, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to reach back out to them and ask them for a coupon code to see if we can get one. There might be a link below that would help you with that. Either way, I'll link to them because I just, I think they're really cool. Another thing that they provide in the bundle for $99 is a ton of light leaks. If you haven't seen light leaks before. They are extra clips that you can use, and I've got them here in my power bins, extra clips you can use to overlay video and give it a unique look. So let's say instead of going to the island, we'll go back up to my soccer timeline. We're going to cut to he and his buddies with the pledge to Norway today. We'll go to Norway. And you can see that I've got similar background, similar look. And so it shows continuity, but I still want to add something that looks kind of interesting over the top of it. John, why are you putting all this bokeh on top of them? I'm going to trim it down pretty good. And either, let's say I wanted to create a dreamier look, I'd put this clip over the top, come to the inspector, and composite them together in a way such that I, in here, I've added. Now check that out. Okay, clearly don't like it with this clip. I'm going to use the T key on the keyboard. T is in Tom. And I will now drag this footage over to where maybe I don't have, here we go that big bubble over that guy's head and instead he's off to the side there we go so now i'm creating a little bit of a feel to this video that did not exist before because i've composited a light leak over the top now what can be hard to do is to find light leaks that are worth putting over top of your footage you'll find some that are really grainy in a like digital way so they don't they're, they're mastered at low resolution slash low bit rates. And when you composite them, they end up looking all blocky and gross. Instead, what I found is, again, the ones that come with visual VFX are quite amazing. You can also Google, you know, free light leaks and see what you can find. I personally don't like spending a lot of time hunting and pecking for free items when I really want to get into a flow and rhythm of creating what I'm trying to create. So that's another way that you could create some visual interest. And it's another one that comes with that visual VFX pack. It just seemed really cool given the amount of stuff that comes in this package and the way that you can use them natively here in Resolve. In fact, the transitions, and this is really what got me to make this video, the transitions are a double click install. So instead of having to find the folder, 
it's a double click installer that just boom puts the transitions in resolve for you and you are happy now that's really the reason that i think that this video and the visual interest here with the the light leaks and the transitions is interesting but i'll add a couple more things that come with this package that maybe you're interested in we'll take this clip for instance you can come over to your color page and now here in the color page there are some LUTs and when I say some <laughs> there's a lot of LUTs so you can just see me scrolling I'm going through all different types of looks and you've got to realize with these for instance I can mouse over it here and get a look that kind of is a sharp one here's a warmer one I like that one I'll just drop it on my on my node I can come into the key input tab and you'll notice the gain I can turn the gain up and down on this I'm clicking with my mouse and scrubbing to the right and left and I can turn it down to where I get the look I like so don't think that you're stuck with something that's really outlandish I'll use the control D shortcut so I can turn it on and off I kind of like it. it gives a bit more brightness to the video and there are hundreds of these in here these are separate folders I'm clicking through here's some that go to duo tone and I'll reset this node grade you'll see how we might use something like that here's one that maybe it's in the background maybe you want your footage in the background of some text this would be a good way to overlay it so it's not too obtrusive here you go so now I'll show you where I got these it's at visualvfx.com you can see under products you come down and I realized after a minute the all-in-one bundle this $99 is actually everything that's on this page and that's what got me was like wait a minute what um, oh, and for fun, they've added in specific transactions for your iPad. So if you're doing work on the iPad, they have a transition pack for you as well. It's, it's really pretty cool. And this all-in-one bundle allows you to get, again, everything on this page, which includes all of the LUTs, the different types of transitions, and they are incredibly aggressively priced as they're trying to get their name out there, I guess, and be known for what is great work. I really like these things. There's a link below, hopefully a discount code I can provide so that we can get a little bit off of the pack. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned how to use transitions and light leaks out of Resolve natively or with third-party options that can add quite a bit to your video. Have a great day.